Hey out there YouTube, how we doing today? Well, as you can see by that green box on the table with those wonderful letters, CRKT, we're going to take a look at something brand new from them this year. I wonder if you can figure out what it is. But stay tuned after I roll that intro, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about what came in that box. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now, I'm going to take one moment and address you first time viewers of the channel. I want to say thank you so much for finding this video. Look, I know there's lots of options out there on YouTube, and I'm very, very flattered you chose one of mine. Now guys, sorry if you're hearing like a lot of rumbling and whatever in the background. We've got roofers doing whatever, and my air conditioner upstairs is going, and it seriously sounds like a chopper hovering overhead. But anywho, so for you first time viewers, I want you to take one moment take a look right down here. You're going to see a little channel watermark popping up. What you're going to want to do is go ahead, hover over that, click on it, and it's going to pull up subscribe. You're going to want to knock it out the way early because trust me, we do things really, really differently here on the channel, and I want you along for the ride. Now, as you guys saw by that opening, we're going to take a look at CRKT's CEO. Now, I saw this one a while ago, but I'll be honest with you. I never pulled the trigger on it. But I had a really, really good friend get one, and he's like, dude, this thing is awesome. People have confused it for a pen in his pocket, which, with that being the profile, I can see that. <clears throat> he knows I'm a fan of gentleman, um, gentleman's type blades, and seriously, this one really fits that profile. It's sleek, it's elegant, very lightweight, and very easy on your bank account. So I had to finally bring one to the channel. Not to mention, it's from a designer that I haven't brought to the channel before. All right, so let's get into this one and have some fun. It is a Richard Rogers design, and as far as I know, this is the very, very first blade I have ever held from him, got from him, or reviewed by him. So I'm pretty excited on that aspect because this thing is just so weird. <clears throat> it's got an overall length of 7.54 inches. The blade is 3.10 enclosed it's 4.44 it has a very very minor weight of 2.10 ounces flat grind with a plain edge now hopefully you can see that it does have that satiny finish which i love just like stone wash now this is what killed me it says blade style standard i took a look at that and went god that really reminds me of the crkt crossbones now speaking of the crossbones look up top here you're going to see a card for every single affordable everyday carry blade we've ever brought to the channel. You're going to find the crossbones up in there as well as over 150 different blades. So there's some good stuff up there. You might want to take a look. But this really reminded me of that. So I took a look at the crossbones and went, okay, held them side by side. And the crossbones is a clip point. So that's what I'm going with this one is a bit of a clip point. I know someone out there is going to tell me what an idiot I am and what a moron I am and how stupid I am. Great! You tell me what it is. Anywho, you do have the stainless steel frame with that wonderful little frame lock that fits in there very, very beautifully. You have glass reinforced nylon scales. At first, honestly, with the pattern in here, with the pattern, pattern, God, I need caffeine. With the pattern in here, I almost thought it was carbon fiber just because most carbon fiber scales I've got have that weird little snake skin pattern. But nope, glass reinforced nylon. It only has one way to carry, which is right hand carry tip down. And that is a very deep pocket clip. Now this does have the IKBS system. Oh, also, there's a little symbol. And it has a um, single thumb stud open. Now, i got to break it in a little bit more because this thing is really brand new. I've had it less than a week, but it still opens up pretty damn cool. And yeah, I know you're wondering, it's made in China. No big deal. All right, let's have some fun. Heavy-duty stock paper. Oh, it's going to do that on me. You guys know I like trying to get as thin as possible. Ooh. All right, but it is curling up a bit. And it's going to have to get stropped because, well, 
you can see that right there. Paper on the blade. All right. <laughs> Paracord! Let's just do a pull test like we usually do. No biggie. And let's do a slice test. Through it, no problem. And a friend, Mr. Ratchet Strap. Ooh, yeah. Let's try that again. All right, a little bit better. Maybe I was holding it wrong last time. And as we always do, we already saw that paper earlier, but no little red fuzzies or anything from the paracord. So I think it really needs to get just a strop in to pull that one little area out. Because, I mean, it feels pretty great all up the blade. But just to make sure, because I don't like that one little paper catching on there. It's just me. All right. Took a look at Amazon CRKT and Blade HQ. Amazon is going to run you $39.99, CRKT $49.99, and Blade HQ $39.99. Now, on Blade HQ, I did see one that had my Carter Scales that's coming out that's about 50 bucks. So that's kind of cool. On Blade HQ, it's got a four and a quarter star out of five with 31 reviews. CRKT, four out of five with seven reviews. And on Amazon, 100 reviews for a score of 4.3 out of 5. Alrighty, guys. Now, you guys know I like it. You guys know I've been gushing like a little fangirl about it. But I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, whatever, down below in the comments section. I want to know if you have one. I want to know if you've carried one. I want to know your successes, your failures, all that fun stuff with the CEO. I also want to know, is it noise? or an F-bomb. Noise! Or an F-bomb. I really want to know your guys' opinions, because, you know, comments help drive the channel, right? And besides, I know there's going to be somebody out there who's going to tell me what an idiot I am, because I like this one. No offense, I just love some of the rando comments I get from people who aren't subscribed. They're like, you're a dumbass if you like it. People who think you think, uh, you think you're cool and all that. I'm like, give me a break, all right? You guys have read some of my comments, so, yeah. Anywho, with that being said, me getting off on a total tangent here. Man, for you first-time viewers of the channel, like I said, we do things really, really differently here on the channel. I really hope you enjoyed what you saw, because I know your time is your most precious commodity, and I'm very grateful you gave me some of it. Now, for you first-timers, you didn't do it at the beginning of the video, and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe. Why not? Here's your second chance. Look right down here. Going to be a big old channel symbol popping up right down there. Go ahead, click on that thing, and it's going to bring you right to subscribe. Now, after you go ahead and subscribe, please go ahead and destroy the bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Great question. Because it's going to notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos, two are going to be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop look at a blade I've been wanting for a very long time, the CRKT CEO. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope all of you have a great day today.